Hello there. Today we're talking about view column icons. You've probably used them before. It's very easy to do in a notes view as you add a formula that calculates a number. This number relates to a preset icon. And then on the column, you tell it to display the value as an icon. And when we show that view, we see a nice little icon there that represents the value of the column. It's not hard to create an XPAID version of that view, where we have the same set of columns that we want to display. However, if we display it using the defaults, what we end up is with the calculated number in the column. There are a couple of ways you can solve this, but we're going to look at the simplest one right now. What we need to do is to go back to the definition of the view column and go over here. Now, the first step is pretty obvious. We have to turn on icon. And when that's checked, we can specify the column image. But since it varies depending on the content, instead of picking one, we specify a formula. Let's walk this through this formula line by line. What's key to know is that all of those view icons, the standard view icons, appear in every Domino server in the root icons directories prefixed by VWICN, you know, a three-digit zero prefix number corresponding to the number you calculated, dot GIF. So the aim of this function, then, is to calculate a path to that. Now, the thing is, it's very smart. XPages will, if you give it a partial path, it will prepend the path to the database there. Normally, that's what you want. In this case, we don't want that. We actually want to go to the root of the server. So to help us get there, we're using this XSP URL helper class. This is a great way of manipulating existing URLs. So in the first line, we use the database, which is a globally declared value, and we get the HTTP URL. This will give us a path to the server. That's the bit we're interested in. We're not interested in the rest, and as we see later, we're going to throw that away. So the next couple of lines, we get start with the path going to icons and the prefix of the picture name, VWICN. Then we access the view entry, again, a context declared thing that is changed for every line that we have in the view, and get the appropriate column value that we know that the priority is in. In this case, it's column 1. Depending on your, which column you're pulling out of your database, you're going to change that 1 to something else. Uh, the next couple of lines do the business of zero prefixing that index with a value and then chopping off the decimal point at the end. Somebody smarter at JavaScript can probably do this much more elegantly than I did, but I'll leave that, leave that as an exercise to the viewer. Lastly, then we tack to the end of the path the .gif, so that we should now have a full URL to that icon. Uh, by setting the path on the XSP URL value, we remove the previous path which led to the database and replace that with the path to our icon. We then call remove all parameters because there's going to be a question mark open database at the end of the URL and that clears that out and anything else that might be there. Lastly, we convert that back to a string and return it to the function that's asking for the URL of our icon. Once we've made those changes, we can go back to our application, hit refresh, and we now see that that number has changed to a pretty little icon like we got in the rich client view. That's all there is to it.